Our definition of culture from week one can be expanded when we consider more deeply the influence of Edgar Schein on the six cultures of the academy from the work of Berquist and Pollock. As such, culture is a global experience that is constantly being created and affected by interactions with others and shaped by the behavior of leaders within an institution. In short, it is a set of standards, routines, and norms that guide the behavior of those within the organization. While leaders may have a preference for one of the six cultures, most tend to balance between these cultures as the situation and context dictates. In essence, as academic leaders function in the ethos of their specific colleges and universities, they are always assessing their role through the lens of their predominant culture. Those in the academy who subscribe to the collegial culture are discipline focused and value autonomy in decision making, curriculum design and delivery, and in other academic matters. These leaders hold to the ideals of shared governance, academic freedom, and the importance of faculty contributions to the operation of the institution. Governance is best described as a focused, rational approach to leading the institution. Those in the academy who subscribe to the managerial culture seek quantifiable results and hold a fiscally conservative attitude. Efficiency and assessment of results are important values. These leaders hold to the ideals of bureaucracy and an established hierarchy in decision making. Governance is focused on the quality of the work, specifically with regard to one's specific functions and responsibilities within the institution. Those in the academy who subscribe to the developmental culture value personal openness and seek value and meaning in the work they do. These leaders hold to the ideals of the importance of personal and professional growth, service to others, and working in a collaborative environment. Those in the academy who subscribe to the advocacy culture seek consensus building and value the thoughts and ideas of others in the institution. These leaders hold to the ideals of creating fair and unbiased policies and procedures and have a vested interest in others, especially those they serve. Governance is focused on equity and democratic policies, particularly in the distribution of resources. Those in the academy who subscribe to the virtual culture see the greater good in the work they are doing to reach larger audiences and influence more people in the postmodern world. These leaders value flexibility, openness, and collaboration, the free exchange of ideas in an open source environment. Governance is focused on a global perspective and would fall into Thomas Friedman's flat world model, whereby organizational and national boundaries are perceived as artificial. And finally, those in the academy who subscribe to the tangible culture have a strong sense of community and tradition. These leaders value stability and are grounded in reality and hold to the ideals of history, aesthetics, and symbols as means of better understanding the institution and its place in higher education. Governance is focused on systematic and disciplined work. Berquist and Pollock argue that these six cultures exist throughout higher education on all campuses and influence how the mission and vision of the organization is carried out by academic leaders and others. The challenge for academic leaders is to best understand the importance of collaboration and collegiality as decisions are made across these competing cultures.